Welcome back to Real Talk with Darius. I'm Darius, your host. Remember to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video, and set your notifications so you don't miss any more content. I uh, appreciate you joining in, uh, joining me today. We're going to be looking at uh, a past video that Candace Owens did when she was uh, sitting before the House Judiciary Committee, and uh, they were discussing uh, uh, hate crimes and white nationalism. And as you guys know, uh, back in the what, 2020, the Summer of Love, uh, occurred well before it, just a little bit before that is when we started having uh, more and more issues with uh police officers and and uh black men especially but with black people and so that became a very big topic um in the right situations i 100 percent agree with that but uh candace was sitting here answering some questions and uh, i think you're gonna find uh, some of it interesting and so let's go ahead and get into it Thank you, Mr. Chair. In congressional hearings, the minority party gets to select its own witnesses. And of all the people that Republicans could have selected, they picked Candace Owens. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. So I'm going to play for you the first 30. Now, first of all, as you can see, he starts off bad in my view, but that also shows the uh, when a person has their mind made up about you, no matter what, then you've already failed in their eyes. Okay, so uh, he started off bad in my view. ...seconds of a statement she made about Adolf Hitler. I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned. Um, by uh, leaders that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. Problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. All right, so my uh, first question is to Ms. Hershenoff. Ms. Owens said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? It does, Mr. Liu. I know that uh, Ms. Owens distanced herself from those comments later, but we expressed great concern over the original comments. Did you? Great, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Owen, uh, Ms. Owens, I'm sorry, we just started a recording. Um, would you like time to respond to that? Before she responds, can you honestly tell me, please be, be honest. I, I know it's obvious we all can hear the same, uh, the same thing said and come away with different views on it, but can you honestly tell me that what you just heard her say in that, just in that short clip, that she was um, advocating that uh, basically the Hitler was a kind of a good guy or she was giving him some type of praise? Or was she simply stating facts? Let me know what you think in the comments. Yes, um, I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Liu believes that black people are stupid and will not uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract, an extracted is, clip. The witness will suspend for a moment. It is not proper to refer disparagingly or to a member of the committee. Uh, the witness will not do that again. Witness may continue. Sure, even though I was called despicable. Um, witness may not refer to a member of the committee as stupid. I didn't refer to him as stupid. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. You, you didn't listen to what I said. May I continue? Wait, please. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that smugness? Now, he had all that bravado when he wasn't even listening to what she said. See, that's how come a lot of people get in a lot of trouble. When, when you're in a, a discussion, having a, a conversation or having a heated argument, one of the biggest causes of uh, things bl getting blown out of proportion is right there sitting in that seat with a gavel in his hand. He didn't look. He heard her, but he wasn't listening to her. Ladies, I know you can identify because you say we guys, we may hear you, but we don't always listen. 
This guy sits there with all that smugness and then he doesn't even offer an apology. See, I have no respect for any person who, when they are wrong, won't man up or woman up and declare, listen, my bad. I apologize. I could have done this better, that better. They won't even offer an actionable solution nor apologize. I do not understand that by leaders, especially. I've seen that amongst a lot of people in uh, powerful positions over the years. It's just to me is irresponsible. But anyway, I'm glad she gets the opportunity. I, I appreciate that. Uh. Uh, one of the senators who offered her the opportunity to defend herself because in the situations like this, there are times when people are not allowed or permitted to defend themselves. As I said, he is assuming that black people will not go pursue the full two hour clip. And he purposefully extracted, he cut off and you didn't hear the question that was asked of me. He's trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany, when in fact, the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a, whether or not I believed in nationalism. Context. And nationalism was bad. And what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. He was a homicidal, psychopathic maniac that killed his own people. A nationalist would not kill their own people. That is exactly what I was referring to in the clip. And he purposely wanted to give you a cut up similar to what they do to Donald Trump to create a different narrative that was unbelievably dishonest. And he did not allow me to respond to it, which is worrisome and should tell you a lot about where people are today in terms of trying to drum up narratives. By the way, I would like to also add that I work for Prager University, which is run by an Orthodox Jew. When a single Democrat showed up to the embassy opening in Jerusalem, I sat on a plane for 18 hours to make sure that I was there. I'm deeply offended by the insinuation of, of revealing that clip without the question that was asked of me. Thanks, Mrs. Owens, and I yield the... Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. Do y'all see that? No apology. No remorse. Look at him. He just sitting there staring, patting his little fingers together. No emotion. See, people like that, that's why bad things happen. So I do not advocate. Let me say that right quick. I do not advocate for violence un unnecessarily. But when people act childish like that, they don't deserve respect. They've act he acted disrespectfully no off and offered no apology. I know a lot of us go through that in our own lives. Personally, you have gone. You, it could be family. It could be friends. I'm man enough to say when I'm right and I'm man enough to say when I'm wrong. And so that's my expectation of the other party. Unfortunately, that does not happen. But I just want to show this clip just to show um, the unfairness in the system. There, is, there are issues in the system. I know a lot of people say, hey, it's, there's a lot of systemic uh, racism, uh, systemic issues. I um I agree more than anything that there are systemically corrupt people within those systems more so than the system itself. So, but let me know what you think in the comments. Was Candace right and uh, or, or wrong in her in her responses? Uh, do you agree or disagree with her? Appreciate you joining me. Remember, oh, let me make sure I let you, I, I share this with you. I love you and I wish nothing but the best for each and every one of you. Okay. I love you and I wish nothing but the best for each and every one of you because that's just that's my culture. That's how I was raised. That's what life is all about to me. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, hit your, set your notifications and uh, comment. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithms. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.